Hello, delegators. Welcome to another episode with Titan Node, the number one place to delegate your stake. Today, we will be talking about how to evaluate a live peer orchestrator. This tutorial is for people looking to stake their live peer tokens for maximum rewards. In this video, we will be going through four topics. Topic one, live peer rewards. Topic two, ETH rewards. Topic three, orchestrator performance. Topic four, a secret tool to help you evaluate your live peer investment. Make sure to stick around to the end for this one. LivePeer is a decentralized video streaming network built on the Ethereum blockchain. What does that mean? It means that people who live stream videos, think Facebook Live or Zoom, have to pay someone to transcode the video into multiple bit rates and send it over the internet. Yes, yes, this can all get a bit complicated, but basically what the LivePeer orchestrators do is they provide this service in exchange for ETH. We can get a lot into the details of the service of LivePeer, but today we are simply going to focus on how to earn high returns and pick the best orchestrator. Before we get into the thick of things, I want to quickly cover some important live peer tokenomic factors. The first being participation of staking. Live peer has no max supply and its inflation is based on the amount of staking participation on the network. If we look at the participation table on the live peer explorer, we can look at the current amount of live peer staked based on the total live peer in circulation. As of today, the target participation rate of live peer is 50%. That means if the participation rate is under 50%, live peer rewards increase in percentage, and if participation rate is over 50%, live peer rewards decrease. This is important because it will cause rewards to change based on what other people are doing. I wanted to get that out of the way as we jump into the first part of this video, which of course is live peer rewards. LPT rewards are paid out daily when staked to an orchestrator. These are called calls. The column on the right shows how many days in the last 30 days the orchestrator has called for reward. Any daily call missed results in LPT tokens not being minted. If the orchestrator misses a daily call, you cannot get them back at a later date. They are gone forever. Having 30 out of 30 is important for this reason. Next is reward cut. When an orchestrator calls daily reward, the newly minted LPT is distributed to the orchestrator and its delegators. The reward cut shows us how much of the new LPT the orchestrator will take as a fee from its delegators. For instance, if the orchestrator has a reward cut of 5% and it happens to generate 100 new LPT tokens, the orchestrator takes 5 LPT and distributes the remaining 95 LPT to its delegators. Also note that the amount of LPT the orchestrator has the ability to generate is relative to the amount of stake it has. Therefore, if two orchestrators both have 30 out of 30 calls, and both have the same reward cut, you will earn the same LPT relative to your stake in both scenarios. Now, if we click on an orchestrator, we can look at an orchestrator page where we can see the interface for staking LPT with this orchestrator. If we enter an amount that we may be interested in staking, we can see our annual projected returns. This percentage already takes into account the reward cut the orchestrator takes. Therefore, you might get a different percentage with different orchestrators. Keep in mind, if you come back at a later date and the percentages have changed, either the LPT inflation rate has changed or this particular orchestrator has changed its reward cut. The last item to cover with LPT rewards is slashing. Slashing is when your stake gets slashed or destroyed when an orchestrator is doing something nefarious or trying to hack the system. In LivePeer, this will usually happen when a transcoder sends back incorrect transcoded material. At the time of this recording, slashing is currently turned off, so you don't have to worry about that yet, but in the future, it will ensure quality transcoding for the LivePeer customers. And that covers the LPT rewards. Also, if you need step-by-step -step instructions on how to stake LivePeer, check out the Titan Node video on Staking LivePeer 101. That covers that topic. Let's move on to the next topic, which is of course ETH rewards. 
The way a transcoder gets paid for its transcoding work is through a system called probabilistic micropayments. The way this works is transcoders get paid in lottery tickets rather than in ETH, and every so often they win a winning lottery ticket. When a winning lottery ticket is redeemed, they get paid ETH from a pot of escrowed ETH. The reason they do this is to keep transactions low and avoid having to use up too much ETH in gas fees. This is very similar to how mining works and other proof of work and proof of stake blockchains. If we navigate back to the homepage, we can see the other columns on the list, and one is called fee cut. The fee cut is the percentage that the orchestrator will keep when it wins a winning lottery ticket. If, for example, the orchestrator wins 0.2 ETH and the fee cut is 50%, then half will go to the orchestrator and the other half will be divided up between all its delegators proportional to their stake. The next column is the price per pixel. The price per pixel simply shows how much an orchestrator charges a broadcaster for its transcoding work. By changing this metric, the orchestrator will get more or less lottery tickets based on its price it charges. The higher the price, the greater the chance to win the lottery. If the transcoder price is too high for what the broadcaster is willing to pay, however, this may result in less work because there are less people willing to pay that price. Right now, the suggested price per pixel for LivePeer is between 800 and 1000 Wei per pixel, but this just adjusts based on the price of Ethereum. If the price per pixel shows really high, or as NA for instance, this is usually an indication that the orchestrator is not actively transcoding, and therefore not trying to earn ETH rewards, so just keep that in mind. If we scroll down to orchestrator payouts, we can see the recent winning tickets that the orchestrators have been receiving. This can be helpful to watch who's been getting payout out often and to see how busy the live peer network may be. To wrap up the ETH reward part of this video, we can navigate to an orchestrator profile and again look at some interesting metrics. If we click on the earned fees section, we can see that there are items such as lifetime earnings, pending earnings, and withdrawn earnings. These are pretty straightforward. Here you can just see how much that the orchestrator has made overall, and whether they are withdrawing the rewards as they come in, or just letting them accumulate. The last area to look at is the history tab. Here we can see how often they are calling daily reward calls, but we can also scroll back and see how often or recent they have been winning tickets. There is a lot of information here and it is all public on the Ethereum blockchain. The last area to look for how to choose an orchestrator is in the performance overview area. Here we can look at how well an orchestrator does in transcoding. Here we have three columns to look at. The first is total score. The total score is simply the success rate times the latency score. This page can be really helpful to determine who is transcoding and maybe their level of equipment and how serious they take their transcoding work. The main focus here is to really just focus on the total score. Anything above one is considered to be real time. As you can see, all 100 orchestrators are listed as you go through the pages. Once you reach about 50th place, you can see the transcoding is not happening in real time and therefore not a very effective transcoders. At the bottom, there are orchestrators that are not transcoding at all, or may not even be calling daily reward. And the one last thing to note is, there can only be 100 orchestrators on the live peer network. The only way to get into the top 100 is to have enough stake to get you past the 100th person. If we go back to the staking, you could see on the last page that you would need more than this amount of stake to get in to the top 100 list of orchestrators. That is basically all you need to know on how to choose a profitable orchestrator. The way some people make great returns, say over 100%, is a combination of staking LPT with an orchestrator that calls rewards every day, has low fees, and is actively transcoding. Because of all these metrics, there can be some big opportunity to find really profitable orchestrators that others may overlook. Before we go, I promised a secret tool I would share with you. 
That secret tool is a third-party website that can really help you understand how the live peer ecosystem is doing and make educated decisions on your investment. That tool is scout.cool/livepeer/mainnet. Here you can find things like total LPT supply, total bonded tokens, current participation rate, total fees paid, target bonding rates, and most importantly, the LPT token unbonding schedule. I want to quickly go through the unbonding schedule of this website because I found it's really helped me understand what's going on in the ecosystem. Here, you can look at whether whales are looking to unbond and sell their live peer, making the token price drop. This may be helpful if you're looking to pick up some more live peer, good opportunity to buy low, or if you're looking to sell and exit your position, it might be an indication we are at the top if very little unbonding is taking place. In other parts of this website, there are other filter options, which can be very useful. I would really encourage you to take some time and look around. Just as a reminder though, as you are looking through, the figures are in 18 decimal places to the left. So counting can be quite annoying, but there is a lot of information and well worth the research. That concludes the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to support Titan Node, you can go to titan-node.com slash delegate to stake your tokens with Titan Node. You earn Ethereum and Livepeer from delegating to the Titan Node orchestrator. Thank you for watching and have a great day.